I have to be honest. There's one part of Reaper that I absolutely hate when it comes to narration. Takes. Confusing. Tedious. Cumbersome. Other adjectives. I mean, there has to be a better way, right? Yeah, of course there is. I'm John from JohnMitchellVoices.com, and today we're going to learn how to set up punch and roll recording in Reaper. Okay, so like I said, I hate the takes feature in Reaper. I mean, it's great when you're trying out different melodies for a vocal or a guitar solo, but it's an absolute nightmare for narration and voiceover. I mean, just look at this for an example. There are takes everywhere. How are you supposed to keep track of which is which? And how are you going to edit it? Well, we can greatly improve our recording time while cutting back on editing by setting up one feature, punch and roll. Punch and roll recording is exactly what it sounds like. You set your pre-roll back a few measures, and then you punch in over your mistake or error. How do we set it up? Well, okay, so here's a little recording. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Okay, first we need to set up the pre-roll. So we go to the metronome, right click, come down to pre-roll at the bottom, under pre-roll before recording, check off that box. In pre-roll measures, select however many you'd like. Close out of the box. Now, you see the pre-roll is Twinkle, going. twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky. But look, we still have a take here. That's because we haven't set up the punch part of punch and roll. Come here to the options menu. Scroll down to new recording that overlaps existing media items. It defaults here to creates new takes. We don't want that. We want to go to tape mode, which says trims existing items behind new recording. Click on that. Let's get rid of these guys. And let's record again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Up above the world so high, like a dermond in the sky. See, that didn't sound right, so let's try it again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. And look, we've successfully gotten rid of takes. Hooray. Okay, we set up our pre-roll. We know how to punch. Now, we can set up a custom action to continuously punch and roll throughout the length of your narration. Want to find out how? Of course you do, come on. If you've never had the joy of working with custom actions in Reaper, oh man. I mean, there's so much this thing can do. It's one of the main reasons it's become my primary DAW of choice. Let's do this, go to the actions menu and click show actions list. Here, we can see a list of all the available actions. It can seem overwhelming, but I find it easiest to break down what it is you want your action to do and go from there. Let's click new action. Under custom action name, let's call it punch. And now you have to drag your actions here. So let's think. When we do punch and roll, we want to do a few things. First, we want to stop recording since we made a mistake. So let's search for transport. stop and come down here to delete all recorded media. This will do exactly that. It'll stop recording and delete the bad take you just did. When we want to start recording again, so search for transport record. Let's add that. Click OK. So right here we have custom action punch. And what you can see here is you can add a shortcut to it. To do that, come down here on the left and click Add. And it says here, type or click any uh, key to assign the shortcut to. So let's say I'm on a desktop keyboard, so let's do the number 2 on the number pad. Click OK, click 
DPS. Now it's assigned to the number two. Close out of that. And let's try it out. So here we have twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. So let's say we were right here and I wanted to keep going. So let's hit that shortcut. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Let's play it back. Wonder where you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. And there you have it. We've gotten rid of takes, we've set up punch and roll, and we've assigned a custom action. And there you have it. Now you know how to set up punch and roll recording in Reaper, and you have a custom action to hopefully help speed up your workflow. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching.